Hey, hey, welcome everyone. Welcome to Star Citizen. As you heard by the intro, we're going space trucking today. Uh, it's going to be a day in the life of a space trucker in Star Citizen. And we start that day, of course, with waking up. That's right, crack the old neck and get up. Let's get to work. I've been uh, playing this game since the last few weeks and it's just simply amazing. This is my space trucker for today. The camera is a little bit twitchy in the uh, close compartment, but um, we'll see that later on. This is my spaceship, the Freelancer. And um, yeah, we're gonna go do a complete day of space trucking, which of course starts with a nice shower and getting dressed. As you see, it's my little bathroom. It's not much, but hey, it's in space. Let's see, let's put some clothes on here. Let's put some pants on. We want to be a little bit respectable when we do our job. Let's get some uh, shoes. There we go. Looks like a space trucker to me. All we need. So, again, this is my ship. It's the uh, Freelancer. It's a medium freight uh, cargo ship. And, um, yeah, I've been using this for a few weeks now. And uh, I love it. I love this game. It's uh, The game itself is still in alpha version, which is uh, far beyond beta even. Uh, lots of bugs, but it's playable and it's just super awesome. I like this kind of games. So I love it. This is my, sp my uh, cargo space. It fits 66 units of cargo, which is enough for now. So it's the uh, living area, the living quarter, the beds. It's, it holds a crew of four people, but I'm, uh, I'm running this uh, this ship alone at the moment. It's my cockpit. That's where I usually have, uh, have my breakfast. Let's watch Netflix on that one. and. Uh, that's the test part. As you see, it's just a big old space truck. A big, big lump of metal used for trucking. That's all we need. You got different, you got of course different ships. You got fighter ships and stuff like that. I don't like to fight. I don't like to shoot. Sometimes you have to shoot, you know, shoot your way out of pirates, pirates and stuff like that. But um, in general, I keep it very uh, peaceful with this one. I see black, black paint. It's the way to go, I think. Um, yeah, as I, I was uh, as I was saying, the uh, the game itself is just it's just awesome. It's it's in the very early stage, but it's playable. It's enjoyable. You just have to, uh, you know, ignore the bugs. It happens. No big deal. So we've got two types of propulsion. This is the normal, um, yeah. Hydrogen drive. It go, doesn't go that fast. But you use this on planets and stuff like that. But if you. Okay. Let me. Uh, yeah. If you want to travel between uh, two planets or systems, you want to use the, uh, the other drive, uh, quantum drive. So we're going to do that. We're going to visit that planet right there. I'm going to pick up some cargo and drop it off at a different planet. And we do this with Quantum, quantum Travel. travel. Normally is a very cool sound of the Quantum Travel. Now there's not. I don't know why. Quantum As I said, travel. it's alpha. Uh, bugs will happen. Usually there is a pretty cool, cool sound. Maybe if I restart. But uh, we start the engine maybe doesn't matter just looking for the, uh, the station that we need to go to pick up our cargo which can always always can be a little bit a uh, little bit of pain to find it uh, keep on looking it's here somewhere There we 
go. Quantum travel engaged. That's where we're going. We're going to the uh, to the mining outpost. Again, should be a cool sound here. Normally there is. I don't know why it's not here at this moment. But um, I'll, I'll restart the engine when we're there. So we'll pick up this uh, this cargo. We'll sell it to another company on another planet. Then we'll go to a space station to have a beer. That's going to be the day. Pretty good day of a, a space trucker, I would say. Now, there's lots of ways to make money in this uh, universe, in this in this game. Oh, that that's what happens when you restart in the uh, restart the engine in air. I think we have some. St oh, engine sound is back. As I was saying, there's different ways to uh, to make your money. You can do bounty missions shoot stuff up, be a pirate, whatever you want, but I just want to be a space trucker. Uh, as you know, I like my trucking games, so this is going to be no different than that, except it's 100 years in the future and in space. That's the same idea, pick up a load, drop it off somewhere else, make money, enjoy the scenery. It's basically all I've been doing the, uh, the last few weeks. So let's land at this beast at the mining outpost and get our cargo. Not sure yet what we're gonna get. We're gonna look if there's uh, cargo available fuels, like the uh, hydrogen fuel that all the space stations need. This is a place that sells it really cheap, so also means it's out of fuel most of the time. So we'll see how much they have. Otherwise, we'll take something else. That's where we're going down there. The mining outpost. Trying to land it uh, decently on that little pad. Should be good to go. A little to the left. This, uh, this is a non-combat zone, so we don't have to worry that uh, other players will attack you here. So we don't need to bring the guns. Just have to uh, pick up the load, the cargo. I think it's pretty cool that the whole game you can go from planet to planet, to buildings, everything, everything is without loading screens. So here we are, mining outpost at Yela. <coughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's all one big universe and it works surprisingly well. It's got to put on my space suit since we'll be uh, going outside. I don't know if I can go outside without it on this planet. I'm not even going to try that one. We're just going to put on the helmet, space suit, and we're going to go outside. No weapons needed because it's a friendly zone. Hey, wrong one. Exit ship, that's the one. So here we are, outside on the planet. It's snowing. It's not even that cold. Zero degrees. But um let's go to the to the trading post and get us some cargo.
decompressing. And here we are. Cargo terminal. Just, uh, turn off the helmet for a second. Yep, hey, he's working late. <laughs> he doesn't care. Alright, let's see what's uh, what's available. Let's uh, go to the buy section. There we go, that's our ship. So this is what we can buy, hydrogen. That's not a lot available, so we don't do that. Next option is uh, Fleurin, which is pretty good. Gonna buy a little bit less than that, because that's all my money. And if there is a connection error, that's the danger with cargo running. If there's a connection error, you respawn without your ship, and then you have to reclaim your ship, and everything is gone in your ship. So, I kind of don't want to do jobs with too much money at risk, uh, because connection errors do happen. Not too often, but every now and then. But this is fun, you know. Uh, 14,000, that's good. You will make about 20% profit of that. So, that's all good for space trucking, man. Because uh, space trucking is something you don't do for the big box. Unless you have a very big ship, which I do not have. So, it's more for fun and exploring and seeing all these. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is just... That's just amazing. I think it's really, really cool. How you can just go everywhere, do everything. So that's why I like the cargo running, just because it gets you to places, you know. And it makes you a little bit of money. Um, there's better deals to be made, but that includes higher investments. And I'm not comfortable doing that. I don't even have that money because uh, another error got rid of all my money. <laughs> so, so, as you see, cargo bay is full almost full with uh, cargo. This is also pretty cool. This is the uh, turret on top. Um, we'll be showing that later on. But first we're gonna drop this load off. We're gonna sell it at the next planet on Daymar. And it should bring us uh, some profit. Uh, let's get it up again. Set the route to uh, Daymar. There we go. Um, yep. There we go. Ah, again, no engine sounds. I don't know what this is. Let's uh, let's do another reset, maybe. Systems off. And on. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Not sure if that was good. <laughs> ah, there's the sound. Yep. No, still no engine sound. Never mind. Just imagine a cool engine sound with it. I don't know why it's not working now. Always works. So, we have to go out of the atmosphere to use our quantum drive. Quantum travel. Um, first we're going to that little, it's like a, uh, like a beacon, like a marker, to go around the planet. Because we have to travel to the other side. And we cannot travel through the planet, so you have to go around it. And then we are looking for the planet itself. It should be right, yep, it's right over there. Daymar, one of the moons in this little system. Again, no sound. Imagine a cool 
warp sound. <laughs> Maybe if I uh, reset again. Hello, how can this help you today? Systems on. Alright, we have to find uh, the place that we're dropping it off. So, unfortunately, you still have to do this manually because the map doesn't always work. So, I don't even want to bother with that. It works from planet to planet, but on the planet itself, you uh, it's best to do it manually, just look it up. Should be one of these, so it's easy to find. I think that's the one. Yep, break a yard. Perfect. Now this is the place where it's it's sort of a black market thing. They, they just buy everything you sell. Like illegal goods, doesn't matter, they buy it. So it's, it's a little bit of a different environment. It's uh, not a safe zone. Want to bring your gun outside? Because sometimes there are players that uh, yeah, like to wait out and rob, shoot oh, other players. I don't know why, because there's nothing to gain actually, not yet. So this, I don't see the point of it just to be... Uh, the only point is just to be a little troll, I guess. Because I don't think you can... Oh, they can't take my ship, and they cannot take my money, so... don't really see the point. But it's all good, it's all part of the game, you just have to be a little bit careful. And uh, as this is a multiplayer game, you can do this with your friend, and uh, one can sit in the turret. Just, uh, you know, keeping things safe and stuff like that. That's what I do uh, when we're out mining. One keeps watch, the other one is working. Just to be safe. But I must say that doesn't happen too often, so uh, that's pretty good. And it adds to realism in real space, I would guess. There's going to be pirates as well, so yeah. I'm well uh, well prepared for that. No problem. Let's see, that's where we're landing. A little sketchy outpost. Out in the dark remote part of the planet what on earth could go wrong right I don't doesn't seem to be another one no other ship anyway so let's go in and sell our cargo so we can go to the space station to get a beer And that's what I love about this game. You can, you can do stuff like that. You can, you can do anything you want, and uh, makes it really, really impressive. And this is only alpha state, so when this thing is ready for the for release, it's uh, it's gonna blow every space game away. That's for sure. Already blows me away. So and this is just the beginning. It's been in development for quite some years. And it shows, but it's actually really good playable right now. Put on the helmet. And we're gonna get some weapons to go. Just to be uh, to be on the safe side, you know. Get some ammunition. Not that it would do that much good, because I'm really not a good shooter, but, you know, it's not, not going in there unprepared. Well, let's get out of the ship, on the, uh, on the second planet, visiting two planets in one day, yeah, it's pretty amazing.
So as you can see, it's kind of a, like a wreck yard. Collect all kind of stuff. There's not going to be any sales guy here. You just have to go to the uh, trading terminal. And you're good to go. As I explained, it's uh, really good to do trading. It, it works. Uh, a lot of people don't think it works, but it does work. It's just very risky because of the errors you get sometimes. And then you lose all your money that you invested. But as you can see, you know, bought it for I think 14, I think it was. And now we're selling it for 17. So we're making profit. Not a lot. You won't get rich from doing this. But if you do this with larger amounts of money and larger cargo amounts then definitely you can make money like this but for me it's just it's it's all about the uh, the experience of, of going to planets and weird little places like this occasionally you run into an idiot or two to try to kill you or uh, computer pirates stuff like that it's all good it's all good fun and again really impressive I think um, as you see, it, it runs pretty decent, it runs smooth. Um, so, they're well on their way, actually. Let's get in through the back door. Beautiful. Look at that. There we go, close the door. Nice. So, we're all empty. We're good to go, let's go to the space station. Get a drink, get some food, and call it a day. That's the one we're going to, crew L1. It has everything we need can also refuel at, at those places and uh, navigation doesn't seem to work so we're gonna go into space first but it's all so so smooth the, the transitions between worlds and then traveling getting out getting in yeah I almost got uh, the other space game, but with that one you cannot walk around in your ship, there's no interior in the ship. And this just feels a lot better, even though it's still in early, early access release, you know, but it just feels better. And it's good to be part of a uh, developing game. So, let's go to crew. L1. See if it works. There we go. Let's see. Let's get the old uh, quantum travel on. And during that flight. Now we're going to find the planet. There we go. During this travel, I will show you the turret, which is it's pretty cool.
so normally when you're playing uh, with, with two people then uh, the other guy will be in here keeping an eye out for space pirates um, in all my travels I had it twice or three times now that my quantum travel was interrupted look at that that's that's nice that was interrupted by space pirates so it is it's handy to have oh where we stopped Pirates? No. Oh, we're there. We're already at the uh, at the space station. It was a short drive. That's cool. As I said, with these turrets, you can uh, you can fight off the uh, the pirates or other players. Uh, the ship itself itself has also some laser guns plus some missiles, so the ship can defend itself. No problem. Oh, I didn't expect to be here that fast. So uh, let's go up front and let's navigate to our landing zone. There are all kind of different uh, space stations around in this system. And for now that there's only one system, but there's going to be more systems, of course. So this game is going to be just huge in uh, in many ways so now we're going to use the normal uh, yeah normal propulsion and make our way over to the space station where you will uh, Ask permission to land and they will assign you a landing pad and that's where you go pretty straightforward now a lot of people say this is a really hard game to get into but I didn't I didn't feel it that way it was actually I think it was pretty easy to get around and um, to find out how it works and explore stuff there's a chat from the server that you're in and everybody's really really helpful when you have questions or you know when you want to know something they are really really helpful with that so it's a really cool community that's a good thing and uh, I learned it pretty quickly These stations are like really, really cool. Should be uh, popping up right there if we can hail them just a little bit further. That's the only thing, I never know which way is up or down with those stations. But I think this way is uh, the way to go. Landing bay. All right. Let's see which one. It, there we go. As you see, it's all in a really relaxing pace of playing this you know space simulator I guess so I try to uh, to play it like a sim like 
you don't want to go and crash your millions of millions of credits worthy <laughs> ship into this space station. Um, just take it easy and uh, park that sucker right in there. Now it takes a little bit of getting used to uh, to park it, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. Gently. Looking good. Then the gears out. And touchdown. Let's get the uh, confirmation. There we go. At the space station. So, let's get out and get a beer. Just uh, popping the helmet back on. There's actually no need to to turn your helmet off when you're in in the uh, in the ship. It's just that. <laughs> I'm a nerd enough to do that. There you go. These these space stations, man, they're really impressive. Same as this ship. I love this ship. I love the freelancer. Look at this station. I mean, this is just. And again, it's all smooth, it's all open, it's all... It works really well. So, I can only imagine what happens when this game is like officially released. It's it's gonna be a monster game. Let's, uh, let's turn into our regular outfit don't want to go to the bar with our space suit the work is done so you want to relax you don't relax in your space suit and your space helmet so uh, let's get on to the main area of this space station so just like in real life the elevator always takes forever, of course. So you want to <laughs> give a little bit of extra pushes on that one. Doesn't do anything good, but it feels like it helped. That like it's uh, helping. So let's see. Let's go to the lobby first, and there we're gonna store the spaceship, so we can use it the next time we leave. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna have a look around in the in the space station. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty big. Gonna find a place to have a beer, and we're gonna find a place to have some food. As you see by the indicator left below, um, we do need a drink. So that's a good thing. Drinks and food are go slowly going down, so every now and then you have to uh, refill with some food and some drinks. Oh, what's going on here? Up. Oh. Like I said, 
sometimes you have to <laughs> you have to deal with it, which is still fine for me. I can be a pretty patient guy. Let's see, stored. Yep, there we go. All right, let's uh, explore the station. Now, when you arrive at these things, you always have this this little cool waiting area with a, a beautiful view. Um, sometimes, uh, it, when it's near a planet, you have a great view of the planet, and you can just relax and sit and wait around here. Now, that's a cool miner. Let's go up here. Usually, there's a pretty cool second area. Which is not the case here. This is uh, a bit boring. <laughs> That's okay. We're still in space. That's still cool enough. There's a burrito bar. We're not going there. We're going to the. Uh, to the main area that has shops and, and restaurants and bars and stuff like that. This is the, uh, the hotel of the area, the space station. That's where you usually begin your travel to nearest habitat. Galleria. And here we are. It's like the shopping mall. You got all kinds of things. You got the food court on there. Um, you got clothing shops. You got weapon shops. Like oh, down there. That's the weapon shop. And uh, there's all kinds of things going on here. Let's see what's up here. Armors. Armor shop. That's where you get your goodies. Platinum Bay is where you get your like, ship components. Components. Stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, there's a bar right in front of us, which is also pretty cool. Let's see if we can order a drink. Need yes, something. we do. We want a beer? Ooh, uh, that one. Yes. Drinking, okay, I just told you what I want. What can I, do you for? I want the beer that I just ordered. Did he just look at my marker? No, that was weird. I'm not even sure if this part is <laughs> integrated yet. Um, it's gonna be the first time I actually order a beer. Uh, but it did pop up, so... It should be, it should be working. A beer. I just told you. It should be working. Maybe the other guy. No, he's he's way too busy. Come on, just give me a beer. A beer. Huh, maybe this part isn't, uh, hasn't been integrated yet. Which is too bad because I would like to have a drink. Man. Yes, I need a beer. Yep. Huh? Is he making up here? He is. You didn't know this is a bar, right? Well, I know that. Do you? I need a drink. Looks like he has a beer in his hand. That better be my beer. 
that my beer? Give me my beer. Come on. I think if you're out drinking, I think I'm it's integrated, but it's just a really Can slow. There you go, slow worker. Oh, thank you very much. No sweat off my body. There we go. Have this beer. Amen. That's pretty good. What After a day of uh, cargo running, drinking beer in a space station. If you're out drinking, nice. I'm Little, little arcade corner. This is actually the first time this is working for me, so that's pretty cool. Oh, look at that guy. He's having some beers. He had some beers for sure. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. Nice. And as you can see, it's actually emptying out, which is a small detail, but I think it's a pretty cool detail. Yeah, I don't know what they what those guys are doing, but I'm out of here. Thanks for the beer, buddy. That right up. There you go. See ya. Going for dinner. Be with you in a minute. <laughs> no, you're not. What do you want? Whiskey, beer, or whiskey? Nope. Trying to get a second one, but um. No, it's not working. That means we're gonna find something to eat. We're gonna go to the food corner. See how that works out. So far, I've only been eating hot dogs and some other stuff, I think. So I'm not sure if all the other shops are open. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can get. Hello. <laughs> just standing there. A lot of people just standing around. Look at that, the food court. Best place to go in the galaxy. Yeah, pretty cool. So, let's see. I think we need to go that way. Yep. I like to walk around instead of running around. Um, oh, this is the burrito bar. Pretty good. Not what we're looking for. I've had a lot of burritos and hot dogs, so now I want some noodles or something else. Like I said, I just like to walk around, not run around. You wouldn't run around in real real life as well, so... Elroy's. There you go. Check that out later. There's the noodle bar. What else is here? That's... Oh, that's Elroy's. More noodle bar, let's see. Pizza. Let's see if we can get something here. It doesn't it's only looking like we can get some drinks. That's water. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to be available. Ah, that's too bad. Pizza place. Uh, same deal, I guess. 
drinks are available, but pizzas are not. That's too bad. I was looking forward to get a pizza. Well, let's get to uh, to Elroy's. See what kind of uh, fine dining they offer. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's not much. Hmm. Drinks only. Oh, energy bars. Yeah, it's pretty useful, but um, not taking those. I want one of those. Oh. Well. Huh. Well, you sorry. Sorry to visit. Yep, that's gonna be a hot dog. Give me a hot that's dog. Much we got. Let's just do that. Double dog. Breakfast dog. Sure. Why not? There we go. <laughs> there you go. That's eating like a space trucker. Just jab it in there. Perfect. Yeah. They do like to stand on the furniture here. That's interesting. Juice bar. And this looks to be just a uh, relaxing area which we will be doing and uh, this is uh, the end of the day of Space Trucker so I hope you like this video and uh, I sure like to do this so maybe I'll make some more videos of Star Citizen um, if you want to check it out please do and see you guys next time